Hello, in this video I am going to talk about the placement of the microcontroller and the components that are wired to drive the two DC motors. Okay, first off I started by placing um, connectors to ends of wires. I believe there are 16 gauge wires. So I have one for negative and one for positive. And then I added uh, some master switches that uh, come from each pole of the battery. So this is the positive side and that's the negative side. Here's another switch. So my reasoning was that I didn't want to be able to have uh, this space as the only means to cut off the circuit because if by accident I was hand I were handling the robot, I, this can be an easy sh uh, short situation and a shock hazard. So I placed two switches. So it's. Um, is m m more unlikely to have uh, to complete the circuit by these two switches being shorted out. Shorted out. Um, and then this turned out to be a good point where I could clamp, clamp my my uh, uh, battery charger clips onto to charge the battery. I know I'm supposed to actually take the battery out, but these nodes here or terminals are good clamp points to charge the battery then I connected up the voltage regulator that I mentioned in the previous video and the uh, supply to the DC motors <coughs> the power supply which comes from the cigarette adapter and then this is the uh, Arduino motor shield that's mounted atop the Arduino Uno and then the wires go to their respective motor adapter and, and the motor adapter is connected to the the motors on, on each side. Uh, I wanted to also place a quick disconnect uh, like this to the motors so <clears throat> to the motors so uh, when I programmed the robot, the motor would not just automatically start. Uh, the robot would not just automatically start moving. And then once it's finished downloading or uploading the program from the computer to the microcontroller, I can connect up the the, the motors, and then uh, the, the robot will move. So I also want to mention that you need a very small uh, flathead screwdriver to connect the wires to the terminals and for the uh, motor adapter you actually need a very fine tip Phillips head and I luckily had one it's, it's less than a millimeter it's, it's very fine tipped but luckily I had one and I could connect it um, these terminals do not take this uh, thick gauge wire either one of these so I I was trying to use a 22 gauge solid wire, but uh, when I tried connecting the term uh, the connectors to the wires, it they were not uh, secure, and it, I just wanted to go ahead and uh, the reason it was not secure because it was uh, I need to fold it at least double it up to make it more snug. Once I make uh, uh, connect the put place the connectors on the wires, so I just went ahead and used some jumper. Uh, uh, socket wires that I could connect to and what else is there um, oh this is the printer cable that runs to the computer it's, it's long so I can program the, comp the uh, robot wrap around the cable without having to take off the uh, printer cable for now and now I'm going to power it up and let's see uh, uh, well first off I want to mention that I only programmed the front left wheel which is this one to rotate and because this is on the left side 
it's forward is it's clockwise it's going to make the robot turn towards the rear direction all right so my cat's here uh, so okay okay so now I'm going to turn cl close the switches one and once I close the other one it should boot up but now my cat's here let's give her a minute Here's my other cat. Once they go, I can start it. All right. So I'm going to close the other switch, and I'll show you that this one rotates. This one is not programmed; it's not even connected right now. Oh, by the way, I'm not using the Hall Effect sensors, the encoders yet. I just wrapped the wires. I connected up the wires and just placed them on the top here, on each side. Okay. So now, when I turn this, close the switch, it should turn on. There you go. I, oh yeah, that's right. I also have the duty cycle at 70%. 30% did not have any result. I believe my uh, robot is a little too heavy for 30%. So I uh, use 75%. And I believe as I mount more components and the robot gets heavier, I will have to, uh, and then when I have to run two motors, I'll have to go up uh, on the duty cycle. Uh, duty cycle percentage. Alright, thank you for watching.